Welcome, welcome to the Rick Helps Real Estate Show. You know, you hear a lot about sellers are being greedy, stingy, they're not budging on their prices. Take a look at this right here. I'm gonna share some numbers with you. This is homes under $1 million in our market, and this is their asking price right here. Pretty much flat all year, under $1 million. You get above 1 million, and uh, you start putting those back in, the numbers change dramatically. Um, some of that is seasonal, but we'll show you right here on this chart. And you can see here that the asking price per square foot went up and it's come down. So our sellers being stingy and greedy by not lowering their asking price, especially below a million dollars. Well, I'm going to say no because they're contributing in other ways in a big way, contributing towards closing costs. Take a look at this. This is percent of closings with seller paid concessions. And in the price range of 350 to 400, 67% of sellers are contributing towards closing costs. Four to 500,000, 61%, and then 52%. Percent of seller paid concessions overall, total market, 50%. It's the highest it's been ever. So yes, sellers are hanging on to their price, but they're giving you more. They're up to $10,000 now. So, and the reason is, you know, we, there's more listings. You can see that here. Even though they're flat, there's more listings. Even though it's higher than years past, it's still not higher than the peak that we made here in 2022 but there's more choices for people to look at especially based on the low activity of uh, sellers that we have out there you know we were rocking at one point about 4,500 contracts a week we're about half that we're down to about 2,500 contracts every seven days so fewer buyers more listings yes they're hanging on to their asking price but they're giving you money back and in a big way a big, big way. When we drill down and we take a look at this and you look at uh, concessions by price range, I just shared that with you. Percent of seller paid concessions here is $8,500. Um, but in the total market, we're sitting here looking at $9,600. Percent of concessions by city shows you that when you get into Chandler, it's 47%. Peoria, 53%. Phoenix, 55%. These are very healthy numbers as far as the number of sellers that are willing to pony up to give you some money. Um, and they are contributing big time. New River, 23%. What's the lowest? Paradise Valley, Wickenburg, Rio Verde. So some of the higher end areas are not giving as much as some of the areas like in the suburbs of Chandler and Gilbert. And Gilbert is sitting here at, let's see, I skipped over that, 42%. So when you write your offer as a buyer, don't be afraid to ask for concessions because they're giving that to you. Don't be afraid to ask for a rate buy down. Sellers, be prepared. Buyers may come in at around your asking price as long as you give them some upfront money at closing to help them with their closing costs and to buy down their rate. Seems to be getting very, very popular right now, and it's uh, it's working because you know what? We still have a relatively healthy rate of closings, not major. I mean, we're still seeing about 90% of new listings going under contract on a seven day basis. And then you look here at the Cromford Market Index, this is the total. We're sitting here at 102, we're in that balanced zone. Supply is going up when I click on this here. You can see supplies going up, demand continues to go down. Buyer's market, folks. And if it's a buyer's market, sellers need to uh, have a hard conversation with the real estate agent when these offers come in. And uh, you can look at an offer that comes in and uh, the price may be way too low. Uh, you can go up counter, go up on the price and offer them some closing cost assistance. Uh, may work out best for everybody. So that's what we're seeing in this market right now. It's kind of surprising to me that it jumped up as high as it did, but it's there. 
And what's it going to be like when you get into next month when uh, they're not able to offer buyer broker commissions on the MLS? Doesn't mean that you as a seller cannot offer that. You're already offering that now. And you still can going forward. You just can't put it on the multiple listing service. So the game is changing. The numbers are changing. And if you have any questions, shoot me an email at rick, rickhelps.com.